Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Photoshop Quick Tips Podcast. My name is Justin Seeley, I'll be your host, and in this week's episode, we're going to be taking a look at how to very quickly and very easily create a cross-processed look on our photographs using the Curves dialog box in Photoshop. Now this was a very interesting thing. Somebody emailed me recently wanting to know how they could create sort of this cross-process look and I went in and I was working with hue and saturation layers and different levels adjustments and things like that and then I happened to stumble upon this Curves Dialog Preset button that I didn't really know was even in there. But if you click down here in your adjustment layer icon and go to Curves, you can't see it, it's off your screen, but if you open up that dialog box here and I'll move it back into the screen up here in the top there's this little window little drop down window that says presets and if you click on that and pull down right there is cross process RGB and when I do that and move it out of the way there is an instant cross process look right there on that photograph and if I click OK I've committed to that I've got it right there as an adjustment layer and I can do whatever I want with that. I can turn it off if I wanted to to go back to my original photograph. All completely non-destructive and in one simple step I've created this nice cross-process look. Now if you wanted to go ahead a little bit further because a lot of these cross-process photos they'll have a little bit of an edge vignette or something like that you could certainly do so and a quick way to do that would be to convert this to a smart object. Just right click on the original layer, choose convert to smart object then come up here to the filter menu, choose distort and then we'll choose lens correction and once the lens correction dialog box loads go ahead and turn off the show grid we'll take this vignette amount which is just right here and we'll just drag that to the left zoom back out click OK and there we have a nice cross process look with a simple vignette. Now if that vignette's a little too harsh because it might seem that way especially after adding that cross process look go ahead then and you can double click on the blending options for that and you can just tone the opacity back to maybe 75 percent like that click OK and there you go. So if I show you here here's a quick before and after of our photograph and that was just two very simple steps to create this really neat cross-process look. So that's it for this episode of Photoshop Quick Tips. If you have any questions or comments, as always you can post them on the blog site at www.photoshopquicktips.com and if you want to drop me a line personally, go over to www.justinseeley.com. Got a contact page there for you where you can send me questions, comments, or you can even request a tutorial to see here on the podcast. So thanks everybody for watching this episode of the Photoshop Quick Tips podcast. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.